everybody, welcome back. So let's try another problem. Now in this one we have helium gas, and yes I said helium, we're doing something kind of different this time. It's throttled steadily from 400 kilopascals and 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, he is lost from the helium in the amount of 1.75 kilojoules per kilogram to the surroundings. And the surroundings are at 20 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. Okay, so far so good. And the entropy of the helium increases by 0.34 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin in the valve. We want to know the exit temperature and pressure as well as the entropy generated by this process. Use data from the tables. Well, to understand what's going on here, we're first going to need a good picture. And it doesn't have to be crazy, just a simple one will do. So I have helium going in at 400 kilopascals and 60 degrees Celsius. That's a normal thing. That's in the problem statement. What's a little bit misleading here, a little bit more difficult, is that what I'm looking for, the pressure and temperature I'm trying to find, they're like, well, it's given to me. It's 20 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. That is the environment, okay? That is the air out here. And just after that throttling valve, I'm going to have some pressure and temperature. And that is what I'm trying to find here, okay? That is what I'm trying to find. And we're going to use the entropy generation to figure that out. The second thing you might be wondering is, well, it says entropy generated by this process and it, it gives me that right here that is not 100 percent correct this is entropy generated just from the throttling valve entropy is also generated when i go into the atmosphere so you can kind of think of it like it's two processes making this up process one i go through the throttling valve process two i go into atmosphere i have one of those i have to calculate the entropy generation from the second okay so with that being said hopefully that clears up what we're looking for here um, let's get to it. Okay, to start off, we're going to use our basic laws. Conservation of energy will be the first one. So, energy in minus energy out equal change energy of the system. I completely reverse those. That's okay. We can do that. Um, and this is a steady flow process. It says it's steadily flowing right there at the top. And so that means that the change in energy of my system is going to be equal to zero. Now you see here that I put it as being delta Q. I can do that if I want to. That's simply the amount of heat that's being lost to the surroundings. And I could have either put that as part of my energy out, or I can say that's the change in my system. You get to write how you want it to. So just remember most of these things are always um, note keeping. You can do it in different ways, but as long as you're careful, you'll get the same answer in the end. So with that, I can then figure out what my um, second temperature is going to be because the energy leaving my system, well, that energy has to come from somewhere and it's going to be from a drop in temperature, okay? A drop in temperature in my flow. And helium is an ideal gas, so this is a drop in enthalpy, which is connected to a drop in temperature. So with that, I can plug it in. I know my heat out. I know my initial temperature. And I can solve and get that my fi final temperature is 332.7 Kelvin. Okay, now here's the second thing here. Look at this. You see that the temperature that's right after the throttling valve is 59.7 degrees Celsius, and the environment is at 20 degrees Celsius. So they're not the same temperature. This is not it directly into the environment yet. Now, they gave us that entry generation for a reason. Because if we're going to figure out what our pressure is after this valve, we're going to have to use that entry generation. So I know that the change in entropy for an ideal gas is going to be equal to this equation. I know all of this guy. I know my specific gas constant was given to me, or I can look up in the tables. And so from that, I can solve for my pressure. So I plug that all in. And with some shenanigans and a little bit of algebra, I get my pressure is 339 kilopascals. So once again, look and see that this is not the same pressure as this. And so what that tells me is that there's a whole lot of energy in this flow that's going to go out in the environment and be wasted. And when you waste energy, entropy is increasing. So we need to calculate the entropy generation from this flow just expelling into the um, atmosphere. And how do I do that? Well, there's lots of ways of doing it. 
The easiest one is to realize that heat is leaving my system, okay? Heat is leaving my system and going into the surroundings. And so I know that entropy is heat over temperature. As a note here, this is every generation of the surroundings. And so in that case, I have my heat output that's going into the surroundings over the temperature of the surroundings. And the temperature change of my helium gas, well, that was given to me by the problem statement. So I plug in my numbers. I get that my total entropy generation is 0.346 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And my goodness, most of that was made in the throttling valve with a little bit of it coming from the heat output. So that's everything for this problem. Hopefully this helped you. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.